everybody, it's Miss Megan. Thank you for joining me for our first fall session of online Tiny Tots. I know a lot of things are different, but a lot of things are still going to be the same. I'm still going to read you the same stories, and if you register, we're going to have a fun little to-go packet that you can take home and do a coloring page and a simple craft like we would do in person. And we're also doing a lot of different to-go packets for our older story times as well. So you can always look to see which age range is appropriate for you. But we've got Steam, Tuesday Tales, Mother Goose, that doesn't have a packet, Us Tiny Tots, there's ABC um, Kids, and there's Lego Club. So there's a lot of fun stuff for all ages. And you can also check out our young adult program if you have a lot of older siblings. This week's theme is turtles. So we came up with a cute little craft that's pretty simple. All you'll need is a glue stick. We've got our two turtle stories. So the first one is the one that um, inspired the turtle theme. It's one of the newer books that you probably haven't seen. It's called The Box Turtle, and it's by Vanessa Rhoda. And it is published by Dial Books for Young Readers. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something's missing. Oh my, oh me, he was missing his shell. But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terrence, you are so much more than just a shell. So they gave him a cardboard box for a shell. Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest of days, safe from the snoopiest strangers and on the scariest nights. So you can see he's at the beach, he's got a nosy little hermit crab, and he's scared of the little owls at night. And it was big enough to share. Terrence loved his shell. Until one day, your shell is weird. That wasn't very nice to say. Suddenly, Terrence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. You see his face is all red, he's embarrassed. So he abandoned it to search for something better. Looks like a raccoon got it. Terrence searched high and low until, wowee, his new shell looked sleek. So it looks like it's a mailbox. There's still the friend hermit crab. But eek! It showed too much cheek. The mailman was trying to put letters into his shell. The search continued. He looked classy. He looked sassy. Because he got a box from a hat shop. He looked just like Grandma Mildred. He looked for another shell. Oh yeah, he found it. It was a perfect polka dotty package. But guess what? It's going to have a surprise. Pop! It was positively petrifying. Do you know what his, his shell was? It was a jack-in-the-box toy. That wasn't, wasn't a very good fit for him either. So Terrence tried shell after shell after shell after shell, but nothing fit. Do you see the attempts he made on this one? He tried a boom box. He tried a girl's lunch pail, a flower box, and a treasure chest from some pirates. This whole situation stunk. He tried to use a cat's litter box. It stunk a lot. That's it. I give up. So he was very sad when his friend the hermit crab says, here you go. And he offers to share his little hermit crab shell. Scuttle, scuttle, plop. So he tries to get in his shell. Oh wow, in that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell. So maybe Terrence was too. Terrence knew what he needed. But when he found his old shell, oh no, it had changed raccoon had kind of messed it up a little. It's okay. We can fix it. 
It looks like they're getting a bunch of different tools together so they can make his box better than ever. Terrence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. The task grew big enough to share. So it looks like the hermit crab and the raccoon are helping, but also his mom and dad. Finally, the shell was finished. So they patched it all up with tape and glue and they painted it pretty colors. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. But Terrence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell. The end. And that's the end of the box turtle. Isn't that a sweet story? It's definitely what inspired this story time. Good job listening, everybody. Keep in mind, this book and other books will be available for requesting if you go online to our website. Now for our second turtle book, it has a turtle and a hare in it. Now why are they different? Because one's fast and one is slow. So it's called Hurry Up and Slow Down by Lane Marlowe. It's all about their friendship and it's published by Holiday House. Hare is nearly always in a hurry. Tortoise, however, is not. Remember? Fast and slow. Tortoise likes to sleep late in the mornings. Hurry up and wake up! And he likes to do some stretching before he leaves bed. Hurry up and get up! So that rabbit is so impatient. Tortoise is cautious when crossing the stream. Hurry up and keep up. Do you see what the rabbit's chasing? It's a butterfly. He's going super fast. He likes to take his time over lunch. Guess what the rabbit says? Hurry up and eat up. And he likes to chew each leaf at least 11 times. Is it time for dessert? The rabbit's already moved on. When tortoise plays a game, he plays slowly and thoughtfully. He doesn't make a mess and is always careful to put things away just so. Hurry up and clean up! So the rabbit is not like that at all. And tortoise does not like having to clean up all over again. So because the rabbit was a little impatient, they have to clean up again. But when it's time for Hare to bounce into bed, what Tortoise likes most of all is to sip a cup of chamomile tea in peace. Hare, however, has other ideas. Can we have a story? Just one? Oh, please, oh, please, please. You're so good at reading, Tortoise. What do you think they're going to do? So Tortoise opens up favorite picture book and begins to read the words out loud. In no time at all, he reads the words on the first page, and then the second page and the third are over in a flash. The fourth flies by in the wink of an eye, and the tortoise goes on to the fifth. He's just about to turn the page again when Hare cries, hurry up and slow down. We need to take our time, Tortoise. We need to look at the pictures. Tortoise looks longingly at his cup of chamomile tea, which is getting cold. And then he looks at Hare and smiles and says, let's see what he says. Let's read the whole book over again. So he doesn't go slow now, he starts over. And that's the end of Hurry Up and Slow Down. Good job listening to our second story. Now this is the part where we're gonna go over our bags. <clears throat> this is the bag that you will get from the back door. It will have a coloring page that you can color any way you'd like. 
and some instructions on how to do the craft together. If you'd like to have a little refresher when you finally sit down and do it. And it's a pretty simple craft, just like we would be doing in person in the story room. It's just something you get to do by yourselves at home. Now, for the turtle, all you'll need additionally is a glue stick and crayons if you want to color his shell or the coloring page. And then this is just a really simple little bag that has the dots and the googly eyes. So keep in mind that it does have a couple of small pieces, so you might want to be aware about those being out and about. So I'm going to dump those out. And we are going to make our craft together real quick. Now it's really easy. All right, so we've got the shell. And how many legs? One, two, three, four. And this is the turtle's head. So we're gonna put a little glue on the eye. Boop. And we're gonna put more glue on the other eye. And then we've got, you can draw a face on yours when you get your crayons. I don't have any crayons right now. And you want to make sure you get enough glue on the back because these googly eyes don't seem to want to stick very well. Just like that. And then the special part about the shell is it's going to be 3D. So you're going to want to put your dots on first. And they're just dot stickers. They peel off. And then you just throw this part away. What you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of glue on the side of one of the slits and then you're going to fold it over just like that and it makes a little cone and that makes your turtle's shell like we read about in the box turtle now you get to put some glue right here near the turtle's neck to attach it to the shell, just like that. And then you get to put the four legs on. So we put a little glue on each of the legs right near the top and then you press it on the underside of the shell. So I'm up on my third leg in the front, just like this, and then you'll all have your own turtle friend to remember our craft and our stories with. Just like that. There is your turtle friend. And then next week we'll have another story time. Bye guys.